Dear Alexander, 13. The Aim of Ambition I sometimes worry your voracious hunger for self-education can leave you running in place and going nowhere. Like a dog with a leash, you desire to explore and continue to learn far and wide to satisfy your curiosity. But be careful about dipping into states of unfocused ambition. As Maria Popova said, Unfocused ambition is a guarantee of frustration rather than fulfillment. Even the mightiest discipline, after all, is wasted without a clear direction. As the sixth US President John Quincy Adams said, I have been a severe student all the days of my life, but an immense proportion of the time I have dedicated to the search of knowledge has been wasted upon subjects which can never be profitable to myself or useful to others. Is he describing a version of you? A part of me says yes. You have moments of ineffectual business that animate your days, tricking your mind into thinking you are moving forward when you're really mistaking activity for achievement. That later leaves you lamenting and questioning the purpose of your actions. But maybe you need that. Maybe you need those moments of unfocused ambition that satisfy your heart's and mind's curiosity to set yourself up to ultimately be focused, disciplined and purposeful. Maybe you don't have to beat yourself up for feeling like you're wasting time. Maybe you don't have to be on and purposeful 24 hours, 7 days a week. In fact, you can't. You won't. You don't want to. Maybe you can take a couple hours a week to let your mind wander and be distracted. Maybe that's what give plants the seeds to your sanity and creativity. Or maybe not. Maybe you need to do a better job at defining a clear, well-calibrated target for yourself. Indiscriminate action. As Tim Ferriss said, indiscriminate action is reflective of too little thinking and planning, and that is lazy. It's one of the most destructive forms of laziness. If you're constantly doing things that are not thought through, you will end up doing the opposite of the 80-20 principle. You will end up specializing in unimportant things. You will become an expert in doing things that are trivial well. That is a huge waste of life. So work hard, but only when it is applied to the right things. Directional force. After hearing Tim Ferriss say this, it's not a question of maybe anymore. You definitely need to do a better job at defining clear daily objectives. How? You already know. Prioritize your day before it begins by writing the most critical list of actions you need to perform for that day that will make all other tasks easier, redundant, or less of a cognitive or emotional burden. Moreover, focus on the tasks that will mitigate the most emotional and cognitive processing. Uh, it's like I knew what I was going to say. I knew what I was going to say because I've said it before and I have it written up on my whiteboard where I write my to-do list for the day, which I have been doing for the last year. And this was written in 2017, October. It was interesting to see, nearly two years later, I'm implementing what my past self has learned.